Hey, this is Jerry Only of the Misfits and Danny here on Low Callus Rock Show. So, when you created the band Misfits with the Agress and uh, Tahar Locke and lyrics, did you imagine it would be so influential reason for all kind of genres of rock, not only punk but metal, thrash, and leave an immeasurable uh, legacy that lasts to this day? No. <laughs> no, well, what happened was uh, I was always a big fan of music. Uh, my mother uh, was in high school in the 50s, and she was, had me when she was 19. So she was, uh, how old are you? I am 25. Okay, well, you, I would have been six if I was your child. Okay, okay so anyway, uh, she collected 1950s um, 45s. So when I was a baby, she would put the records on the, uh, the machine, and go about and do her business and leave me listening to records. So I grew up listening to this. And my father uh, ran a machine shop. So uh, that's where I, we make all our stuff. We make our guitars. We make our own stuff. I think uh, that, you know, having the love of music and having the knowledge, the technical knowledge to be able to build equipment and to uh, build our own, our own gear that we wear on stage, I think that really is what sets the Misfits apart from everything. Is yes. that is that? Yeah. Well, it's original. I mean, you know, we what we dream, we can create, and I think that's the most important thing in art is that you have, you know, not only dream the idea but be able to make it a reality. Yes. And uh, you know, the Misfits became a reality, and I think it became a reality because the people saw us how sincere the band was and how original the band was, and uh, you know, good songs have a lot to do with it. Yes. So I, you know, I think this is the best band ever, and. Uh, I, I, I not, not because I'm in it uh, or, or because I think it is uh, because I think that uh, you know our understanding of the technical technology of the whole thing is uh, what really ma makes it go and I think that that the uh, interaction with the fans we call them fiends we have a fiend club and they're all over the world like the people who are fiends are uh, you know Green Day and Guns N' Roses and uh, Metallica and people like this are our fans and you know, uh, even though they uh, attain a higher level of success, I think that there's something to be said for uh, being in the streets like we are tonight. Uh, you know, to a you know a crowd of people that we can actually talk to and hang out with, and 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 do that. We try and do that. You're really cute. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. In the 90s, uh, Guns N' Roses and Metallica were the two biggest band in the world, and both played uh, Misfit songs almost every night. And no doubt that helped the band become more uh, become more po well, popular. Well, I, of, that, well, of course. But did you enjoy that, or that bother well, you? Well, you know, look, uh, I think that we play our songs the best. I'm very sorry, yes. but well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, uh, you know, I was really impressed. Uh, I saw Debbie Harry cover, uh, yeah, uh, Hollywood uh -huh. Babylon, and when I was uh, first started my band, she's a little older than me, and uh, I had the biggest crush on her. So, uh -huh. so. I just saw her play with Green Day, and she did that, uh, and I was very, very excited about that. So, and look, it makes you feel good, you know. Uh -huh. But back on that, uh, on that days, did you like that? You were proud of that, or was it something uh, that bothered I, you? I still work in the machine shop when I go home. Okay, I try not to uh, get sucked into the the the, the bullshit. So, uh, you know, I have uh, my son works with me. Uh, he's 23, uh, 28, excuse me. Uh, my yeah, I have an older daughter, 31, and I have a granddaughter. She's the most beautiful thing. Yes, I do. And uh, I plan to stick around for 13 more years. Uh, I want to at least make 50 years. If, we, if at that point I feel we can go on and we're doing stuff, we'll always make records. But uh, you know, I think that uh, my granddaughter will be able to come see me. Uh, she'll be 14 when she does. And, uh, my daughter, I have a seven-year-old daughter who's the best. She sings on our records. Oh, really? Yeah, Eva Marie. She's cre um, I had to leave early from, uh, for your fans out there. Uh, we couldn't go to Chile because I have to go to her first communion. So, uh, you know, Chile is very, uh, maybe one of the biggest places we played for the Misfits. And, and uh, you know, I guess we have to come to the bottom of the earth to find, you know, the, the most loyal fans. So, uh, you know, look, I really like what I do. Um, and uh, I take a lot of pride in, in in working hard every day for it. And you know, I'm not here to party. And I, you know, I, I, I drive a 2006 Nissan that's falling apart. I don't have a Ferrari, and I don't want one. I want to be, I want to be. You know, it's funny on TV now. You see all these reality shows, and it's about famous people whose life is all screwed up, yes. and trying to be regular people. I, I'm a regular person, and I don't want to change that. You know. 
when I put on my clothes is game on. And, uh, you know, uh, I came up with this look because uh, I thought it was a very good design, yeah. kind of like the uh, shark or the alligator, something that lasts millions of years, <laughs> you know, something that doesn't go away. And uh, I don't want to change it. And I think that, um, I think, well, you know, when you have a child, you can bring him to the show or her to the show. And <laughs> I think uh, it'll be a, a positive, uh, you know, a positive uh, experience. And, and, and that's what it's about. You having a good time? Yes, I am. And what do you think about dancing in Doyle, playing a half an hour set uh, of Misfit songs in some shows? I think you should play the whole set of Misfit <laughs> songs and myself, you know. Uh, you know, I think that I think the dancing stuff was very big in the '80s, and uh, you know, I think that uh, I think he's starting to realize now that the, uh, the you know the misfit stuff is really uh, what uh, really put him on the map. And uh, you know, I, I knew that from day one. And um, my brother, uh, my brother needs to, you know he needs to really find out for himself what's going on in the world. And um, you know, he's uh, got his own band. It's not 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 my kind of stuff. But uh, you know, look, I carry this thing on my back by myself and and I have a strong back so you yes. know but I, I look I do wish them the best in the world uh, please you know understand uh, until it's a positive energy vibe for the children for the young kids I want no part of a reunion I don't want to do anything I was about to ask you that I, I, won't, no. I, I won't do it if if it's going to send a bad message to young kids because my fans are all kids uh, you know you know and uh, you know I owe them to be responsible enough to give them something that's good so that's what prevents you from joining them for a re for a reunion. reunion. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Well, I mean, you know, there, there's a million other things that prevent it, but I mean, that's that's number one for me, for me. And I, I don't think that'll change. I think that Glenn is very set in the way he views his image and, you know, his, you know, you know, all the 666 stuff and all that kind of stuff. And look, you know, it, you know, in my opinion, you know, the, uh, God, God is powerful and he gives you the gift of choice. Uh -huh. And everybody has a choice and I respect that, you know. Uh, I think you should have a choice of, you know, your religion, your life, your, you know, your likes, your dislikes, your what to say. As long as you don't impose upon other people, you know, you might mean you can't, you know, uh, push other people down to, to put your, you know, thoughts across. Hold on, I'm losing my coat. So anyway, you know, I think that, um, uh, look, uh, uh, Glenn was always my friend. And, uh, you know, just because we have two different viewpoints on which way uh, the music should go and the image, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, you can't enjoy them both. I mean, you know, so, you know, uh, you know I love my brother. Uh, my brother's great. Uh, you know, uh, work with him in the machine shop. I, you know, I see him all the time. But, uh, you know, I have a strong responsibility. I've always been a very family-oriented person. My mother always took care of me. Uh, my mother was the one who uh, would put all the bands up at my house. Uh, social distortion slept on my floor when they were 14. Uh, black flag, circle jerks, uh, you name it. There was, uh, I was the home base for New York City punk scene. So, you know, I'm, I'm really happy and I, you know, I thank God every day that I'm healthy enough to continue and that I continue to make good music and that people like it. Uh, I interviewed Marky Ramon last year and uh, he was saying about few people do not consider the current mis uh, lineup as misfits. Uh, you know, and I, I want to know. Wh uh, Mar what Marky Ramon is only your friend when you're, when when he when you're doing something for Marky Ramon. Oh. Marky Ramon, uh, the the guys in uh, in the Ramones didn't consider him oh. the original line. He's not an original Ramon, so he has no room to talk. Uh, you know, Marky Ramon uh, should uh, you know find something more to do with his time. Good question. I, I'm very impressed. Very good question. Is your producer or your boyfriend? No, he's my producer. He wrote this. He wrote this. Did the Devil's Reign have the expected results for you? And uh, no. Oh, it's our best album. Yes. Uh, I think by far. It's the only record I've done that I wouldn't change one thing. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I listen back to recordings because I used to pay for the recordings from working in the machine shop uh, when we first started the band. And uh, there's something I saw, oh, this should be like this and this should be like that. Uh -huh. Devil's Reign is perfect. I, and I'm happy you guys don't get it. That's the most important thing. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, if everybody got it, then it, it wouldn't be as cool as it is. Uh -huh. uh, 20 years from now, people will get it. Okay, and when people listen back, when the Misfits is all done, and Glenn right. and me and Doyle are all dead and gone, they're gonna listen back to the catalog and they're gonna look at that record and they're gonna say, that was the one. 
but I'm going to make a better one. <laughs> so it was a huge pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. We're okay. having fun now because they are about to play. You want to say something to your Brazilian fans? Yeah. Win the, f I'm going to say that, win the World Cup. How are you? I'm great. He's interviewing me now. I am. I am. So, so did you go to school, college? Oh, yes, I did. And what did you do? I did radio and TV. We know everything behind the cameras. And now I'm oh, you really in do? front of the cameras. Wow, okay. You know how to di digitally edit stuff? What? Do you know how to digitally yes, edit? Yes, You do. Of okay. Course. So what made you do that? Um, the passion for technology and television and movies. Did you ever think of being an actress? I am also. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm graduated in dramatic art. <laughs> are, are you really? Well, yeah. I'm very happy to be here. See, kids, it's very important you stay in school and yeah, do the right stay thing. In school. Uh, and you're going to have children someday? Yeah, someday. What kind you want? Uh, Healthy? Angel, angel ones. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty big. So, um, let me ask you something. Um, how's the music scene down here in Brazil? Oh, it's in few places it's pretty good. I've been here many, many times. How, Didn't you like it? I, yeah, very much, very, very much. Uh, I'm a good friend with John Gordo. You know Gordo? John Gordo? <laughs> yeah, I was on his show and he made me eat sweet corn, which I never saw before. <laughs> that was a... It was very, very good. So, uh, so can, I, can I have my microphone back? <laughs>